Just heading over to the showroom to check on Chris. He's working in cutting some quarter inch aluminum. We're looking at throughput. You know, how can we optimize the feed rate relative to depth of cut? Um, throughput always is a, a, a fundamental part of any process. So we're gonna try and cut this quarter inch aluminum plate. One pass, three eighths to maximum feed rate. You know, we may have to put a couple of tabs on it because of the increased feed rate we're looking at. We're trying to work between 200 and to 300 inches per minute with that tool. Again, we want to be sure that when we finish processing it, we get a good quality edge. We have high level of finish on the product. We can now go right from cutting to our secondary process. But we also want to think about sometimes within that whole throughput demand, we can always think about things like what we call pendulum. So I can basically set up two sheets because right now with one sheet, I can cut really quickly, but I have that downtime between unloading and reloading. But if I went with a pendulum system, I have two sheets loaded up. So once I finish cutting sheet A and I move to cut sheet B, I'm unloading sheet A. So there's no downtime between sheets. So we're gonna first look at what can we do to maximize the feed rate before we look at those other aspects. So, you know, we're hoping to get, you know, in the high 200s, 300, maybe more. But again, one pass, three eighths to trying to get maximize our chip collection because that also affects my cycle time, how much time I spend in terms of cleaning up between sheets. I'm just gonna head into the showroom now and see what Chris is up to. Hey Chris, what are you working on today? Uh, so today we're cutting some large parts out of quarter inch aluminum. We're using a 3 8 tool. Try to get as maximum cutting feed as we can. Cut nice and quick. Are we doing multi-pass, one pass? What are we doing? Single pass. We want to try to do this in one shot. Get it done nice, quick and clean. All right. Uh, what kind of leadings are we doing? Are we going to plunge right in? What are we doing? Are we going to ramp in? Well, for this tool, actually, we want to do a ramp in. So we're doing right. a 10 degree ramp in just to take a little bit of load off on the bottom of the tool. Use as much side force as possible. Um, go dry or milk or coolant? Uh, we're gonna use coolant for this process. We wanna go cool, nice and quick, keep the tool bit nice and clean, right. and as we process through. Are we trying to get edge quality on this or looking at throughput? We're going for throughput. We don't throughput. need to worry about the edge, but we're still gonna get a pretty nice edge with the speed, but we're focusing right. on speed, baby. All right, are we gonna go, are we looking to go right to the limit of the tool? Just, you know, we're looking for that sweet spot. Are we trying to see, can we push this to the point where that tool snaps, trying to get a true understanding of what we can do? We definitely wanna go for a high volume, but we definitely wanna keep it so that we're using a, a nice longevity of the tool. We right. can cut fast, but the pull bit's not gonna break after one or two runs. We're right. getting maximum production out of the same tool while cutting. Okay, so we're really looking at, at the end of the day, we wanna have a nice consistent feed rate so I can run production and not spending time changing tools because they're breaking, right? You know, pushing it to the limit where it's gonna, it can cut fast, but I can cut one. We wanna cut a lot, but at a consistent rate. Okay, Yeah. all right. I'll check back on you in a minute, I'll leave you to it. Awesome.
Hey man, let's take a look at these parts. Everything looks like, looks like it cut pretty good. Let's pull this big one out here. Oh, it's oh, vacuum still, still on. on. Yeah, <laughs> turn the vacuum off. It's surprising how strong the vacuum can be. There you go, try it now. All right. Take a second. Yep. Nice. Again, you know, the nice thing using the, the clean cut oil is that you don't have a lot of residue, right? I could wipe this thing off and I'm ready for my next process. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. How's our edge looking too? Uh, looks nice. I mean, you can't beat that, right? One pass, three eighths tool. Not too shabby. Edge, no buzz. Again, you, you know, if you look at the, the amount of chips we have, we have a couple extra chips in one part of the process, but again, when you're looking at throughput, everybody talks about speed, but you know, you gotta look at oh, how much time do I have to spend cleaning the machine, cleaning the part, all those things come into play when I'm processing. So we're looking at, we're maximizing the speed, maximizing the yield, but reducing the amount of chips. I don't even have to deburr this. Like, no, it's pretty good. You know, it's a nice clean, it's a sharp edge because it's of course well cut, but there are no burrs on it. I don't have to worry about getting cut. So I can go right from my machine, you know, don't do any welding on it, any secondary work. There's not a lot of secondary cleanup to be done on this thing. Nice cut. Good job, man. Oh, thank you.